Ruse versus Silvani. Well played, Ruse. Paid. No, no. He didn't hold that long enough. Definitely Silvani stepped in and got a hand to it, Bruce. I thought it was a mark. I did too, to be honest. No, I, I couldn't see it. Let's see if he can kick a goal. Straight. Bang. Through. They're still in it. The captain kicks a goal. And the Blues lead by one. It's Stevens. And a free kick to Fitzroy to Wielden. Holding the man. Oh, boy. Look at this. Just over three minutes left. Wielden should kick it quickly. Ruse is there. Lynch is there. Now the high flyers congregate. Up they go. Over the back, Ruse. Off the ground, Ruse. Can't get it away. Alvin Court gets his boot the ball. Marked by Seekamp. Marcus Seekamp has marked 30 metres from goal. Slight angle. He kicked a similar goal to this in that uh, Foster's Cup semi final against Richmond. He kicked two goals, in fact, in that game when he went up on the forward line, so he can kick them. Well, if he kicks this, Bernie, scores are level with. Two minutes and 40 seconds of play left in the match. He kicked three goals for Fitzroy in 1992. And this is his most important shot at goal ever, I would think, Peter. Marcus Seacamp. Oh, it's coming back. It's a goal. Scores 11. Scores 11 as Seacamp puts it through the middle. Well, what about this? What a game. Carlton 17-10. Fitzroy 16 goals, 16. Inside to Armstrong. Now it's Morris. Morris to half forward. Roderick races there. Oh, strong tackle. He tried to beat it. Ruse can go. A chip pass. Look back in the square. Look at Leach on his own. He's found. No, it's not. It's Dunstan. Dunstan. Dunstan has marked. Unbelievable game, this. Dunstan has marked. He was back there for 15 seconds without a card player getting back to guard him. It was on if Ruse had have actually seen him in the first place. Gee, the tackle on McKay was important. Wasn't one. it great? Yeah, yeah McKay was the player who left left Dunstan to come charging he out. Had, he had to do it, didn't he? He, he had to. He had to back Peter. himself in the youngster. Dunstan, if he kicks this, there's six points in front. If he misses, they're one point in front. There's the kick. There's six points in front for Troy. Who would have believed it? Well, what a comeback by the Roy. 17-16 to Carlton, 17-10. 27 seconds left in this match. Fitzroy by a goal. It's been a long time since they're in front of Brilliant Williams. Dorotic. Zanotti. Gernahan on Matthews. Aethorn brilliantly played to Julio. Oh, Had it taken off him superbly. Seacamp. Surely the Lions can hang on now with 10 seconds remaining. Hannah tried to go. Doc Wilden with him. And what's happening? Free kick back here to Fitzroy, Bruce. Well, that'll be it. That's it. It's, it's all, all over. over. Well, you wouldn't have uh, picked this because when Heaver kicked his fourth goal, all seemed lost for Fitzroy. And this is the one that the Blues will think has got away from them at the start of the year. And for the Lions, what courage. And they've done it. Won it from nowhere. A seven goal last quarter. People reckon this is the last season they'll be playing in the AFL. They're going to reckon again after this. They're celebrating. They did it against all the odds too. The Lions, they really did it tough. They came back from nowhere. What a last quarter. Seven goals. Two to Fitzroy. And Carlton kicked two goals too. So they ran all over the top of Carlton in the last quarter. That is one of the best victories you're ever going to see. Just tremendous courage shown by the Lions against all odds. And just...